Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be tackling my kitchen and dining room and living area, but I am really going to be focusing on doing a lot of meal prep and food prep, sharing some delicious and healthy recipes with you guys. We have a ton that I plan to pack in today's video, so let's go ahead and get to it. So today I am starting out in my living room because I knew I could knock it out really quickly and then go ahead and move on to the kitchen. But today I've picked several songs that I used way back when I first started my channel a few years ago. So if you are new to my channel or new to YouTube, then they might be brand new to you. Or if you've been part of the family for a while, maybe it will kind of bring you back a little bit. But you'll have to let me know in the comments how long you've been watching these types of videos and also how you started watching them. I've shared my story several times in the past, but I found this community when I was coming out of postpartum depression with my youngest and that is ultimately what kind of made me decide to start my own channel two and a half years ago. I was just in a really dark place and it inspired me to get my life back in order and pull me out of postpartum depression so I know what a blessing this community can be. So no matter how you got here or why, I am so happy that you are. And if you haven't already subscribed, definitely click that button below and join the family. So if you've been with me for a while, you probably remember that last fall I got diagnosed with Hashimoto's and since then I have been kind of getting back on track and just working on meal prepping and exercising and just kind of getting my life back in order a little bit and trying to make a lot more healthy decisions. And since doing that, I have started to share more meal prep videos with you guys and just kind of try to inspire you in that way while I am kind of working on my own journey as well. So I will be sharing a full fridge clean out as well as reorganizing it and lots of super easy recipes along with a lot of food prep. So definitely stay tuned for that. But until then, let's get back to cleaning.
So once I got all of the counters cleared off and the dishes taken care of, I just started wiping down the counters so that I had a clean surface to start out with the meal prepping. And I am just using my e-cloth that cleans and disinfects with just water. But I wanted to share about these tulips that I got here on my counter. I have been getting a lot of questions about them from you guys recently, and so I wanted to share in case if you missed me talking about them in my recent spring decorate with me video. But they are live tulips, and I got them from Costco a while back, and we have been loving the brightness that they brought into our home. And I've just been really loving all the spring decor that I put up throughout our house not video. If you missed that one, I will link it up above for you guys, but I feel like spring is becoming my favorite time to decorate for. I might be changing my mind once fall rolls around because that's usually my favorite time to decorate, but for now, I am just loving all of the live plants and all of the super bright colors. You'll have to let me know if you guys decorate for spring and also what time of year is your favorite to decorate for. All right, so now that I have all the surfaces cleaned off and wiped down and the dishes going, I am going to start cleaning out my fridge. I actually just went to the grocery store earlier and I have a ton of produce that I need to prep out and I have a lot of new containers that I'm really excited to use. And so I just wanna make sure that I'm starting with like a clean slate in my fridge, make sure I don't have any bad food in there and make sure that I have room for all the new containers and all the food that I'm going to prep. So let's get to the fridge and then we'll get into the recipes and the meal prep. So let's go. All right, so this is what we are starting with and it is very full because like I said, I just went grocery shopping, so it is completely full, but I want to go through and just organize everything and prep everything out. And down here in this little part of the fridge as well, this is our freezer. This kind of changes from a freezer to a fridge, but we usually always use it as a fridge. If you guys have been with me for a while, you probably remember that I just reorganized my fridge like a few months back. I tried to do it with all Dollar Tree stuff and it worked for a while, but I ended up just having a lot of bins that I couldn't really see into and it, they weren't like airtight or anything. And so it ended up not working out for me. And I've said this a lot, but just because you organize something once doesn't mean it's done. It's probably going to have to be reorganized. So we are here already with this. I am super excited for the containers that I got. I'm really, really hoping, fingers crossed, that this time this organization system will really work for me for a really long time. So let's go ahead and start pulling everything out and get everything nice and clean. So here I'm just pulling everything out of the main area of our fridge because as I had mentioned, I did do a big fridge clean out recently and so I just didn't feel the need to pull everything out of the doors, but instead just kind of focus a little bit more on the main section. You better grow up like tambourine, bring a base, we might be weak. So to wipe everything down in my fridge, I am just using my e-cloths with water again. And I'm doing that just to make things nice and easy and convenient. And also because I didn't really want to use a lot of cleaning products around all of the food in our fridge.
emptied out my soul. You've heard it all before, honest, but I know. Uh -huh. Left these years ago, I was young and I'm old. Still care for the void. Uh -huh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. Okay, so these are all of the different containers that I got, but all of them are airtight and I just got all of them off of Amazon. These ones right here are pretty large and they all have a handle. These ones are pretty large as well and they have a handle, but you can kind of see they have this little grate at the bottom that kind of keeps the fruit and veggies like not sitting in the moisture. And then these are really nice and compact, but just smaller. These are bigger as well, but they are like wider and shallower and they have that little grate as well. But all of them are clear so I can see exactly what we have and exactly how much. So the first thing that I do when I'm organizing a space is I start by placing my containers and just kind of seeing how everything will fit and then I can get kind of a better idea of my plan for the space and of course I can make changes as I go and just kind of like adjust things as needed but it's really nice to have an idea of it just kind of set up in front of you before you start or at least for me that's just how I have found it to be. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done, what do we do to love? Okay, so I think I kind of have like a rough idea of how I want this set up. I actually really like how I have the bottom set up right now. I have things kind of laid out in here. So here we are going to have like our like dinner meat and then in here we have cheese. I don't eat cheese, but the rest of the family does still eat some. And then we also have lunch meat in here. Up here I have my eggs. Here I have some condiments. This is where I have like the bulk of our stuff, which is going to be produce. I know these are for produce, but I want to try something out because I feel like they're so shallow and they're so deep. And when I put things in there, they go bad because I forget they're in there. There have been so many times where I'll buy more cucumbers. I don't think we have any more cucumbers. And then it turns out there was one rotting in the very back of the crisper so I think that's why I'm going to be using these they are in an airtight container which will help them stay fresh longer but then if I'm actually going to prep something out that is what I'm going to be using the ones with these little slats at the bottom and so like these ones are going to be perfect for like berries or something this would be perfect for like carrots especially because we are starting to juice again and so it'll be perfect to like prep out a bunch of celery or prep out a bunch of carrots they are going to be washed but then it's like there's no excuse to not grab for something healthy or not make a juice really quick because all the work is done for. So I think this is going to work really well, but we'll just kind of have to see if it will stand the test of time, but I'm really excited. I have a lot of high hopes for this. I can feel my body fold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what it wants. I just let you beat me, look at me deceiving. Let you get the best of me, in bed with my worst enemy. This is a no go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. This is a no go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me so put your hand in mine. Follow me. Let me waste your time. Set up. So this strainer, I get questions about it all the time, but it is from IKEA. They have a few different ones. They have one that is plastic and one that's metal, and I love the metal one. That's just the one I got, but I know several of you guys have asked about that every time I bring it out. So I wanted to just mention that to you guys. But here I am just de-stemming some of the kale. This is going to be pretty much going into juices. I can always use it in smoothies as well. For smoothies, I always just use frozen kale a lot of times but for juicing, I will just use fresh kale. Alright, 
so I'm thinking I'm actually not going to wash the celery just because it's really quick to rinse it off like when I go to juice it. So I think in that way it might stay better longer because it's totally dry. So I think I'm just gonna put it in one of these containers, but it is all prepped out. It is like cut up. And so I might have to cut it a little bit smaller, but I'm just not gonna end up washing it and we'll see how it goes. So we'll see, but I'm kind of just like improvising as I go and seeing like what's gonna work best. So you'll have to let me know if you food prep or meal prep. I don't usually do a meal prep in the way of like portioning everything out into individual containers, but I do prep our produce almost every single week and I usually prep out one or two dishes a week to kind of fall back on for lunches and just help me stay on track throughout the week. But I really feel like a little prep like this goes a really long way and I hope that seeing me share this gives you ideas and inspiration to give it a try for yourself and see if it could help you. So as you can see, some of the items that I'm storing in the containers are chopped and washed and just completely ready to go, and some aren't. And the reason that I'm doing it this way is to keep certain items fresh longer by not getting them wet or cutting them, while others it doesn't really make much of a difference or I know that they'll be eaten within a day or two, but I do feel like keeping everything in containers will help me just kind of keep inventory and help me avoid food waste. So as summer is getting closer, you'll have to try freezing your grapes. I have shared this tip for years with you guys, but they are amazing this way and they end up tasting just like little popsicles. They are so, so good. And especially when you start taking your kids to parks or just going out and about, you will love having a perfectly chilled snack. Now with berries, once they're prepped out, they are eaten super, super quickly in our house, like they are gone within one to two days. But if you don't eat berries as quickly, I would suggest not cutting and washing them all at once like this and just storing them in the fridge without prepping them out. But if your family eats them quickly like ours does, then by all means, go ahead and do the same way because I just always notice whenever I prep out our foods like this, our kids always go for the berries and just all of this fresh produce.
Okay, so I have everything put away in the fridge. I'm about to start meal prepping, but I wanted to kind of take you through and show you like how I have everything set up and what my plan is for making this continue to work for us. Okay, so starting in the bottom of our fridge, down in here, I have like some pasta, salsa. I also have all the extra carrots that I got for juicing mostly. I also have some butter. We just got this at Costco, which is why we have so much. In here, I have some ginger, a beet, and some cilantro. This is mostly going to be for juicing, and then this is just for a recipe. I have some cream cheese for the boys' bagels and cream cheese uh, a lot of the apples will be for juicing and then a lot of them like the red ones mostly will be for eating I always like to keep the apples down here so they are easy access the boys will just grab them rinse them off and they are good to go and then in this pull-out drawer these are just spinach containers a lot of these are going to be going into juices I have some carrots that I had from before and then hummus this is just pretty much like for the kids snack and then this is how the fridge is looking right now so off to the right we have our almond milk and rice milk and then I also have just like condiments up on top I have this actually huge thing of ranch that we got at Costco recently the boys love this for their salad this is going to be for a recipe this is something it's just Greek yogurt but it's plain especially since I'm not eating dairy I have been starting to get just like these single serve and we will use this for sour cream and that way it doesn't go bad but it tastes pretty much like sour cream it's just like the plain unsweetened one and then this lazy susan is pretty much just for like salsas pepperoncinis olives pickles all that kind of stuff here i just have a few english cucumbers back there i have a big thing of salsa here are eggs obviously and then in here this is where i'm keeping like some meats that will be for dinners and then here is lunch meat and cheese and then this is what i've been working on obviously so in here i have a bin of salad this is just our leftovers right now we have some bell peppers then i have some broccoli in here these are not washed but they are all cut up into florets they are good to go for dinners and then right here i have some cucumbers these are mostly going to be for juicing here is a bunch of the celery these are not pre-washed but they are already chopped up and ready to go so i can just rinse them out and then put them in the juice i also have some kale in here again those are washed and ready for juice grapes these will be either for snacking and or for juicing then i have some blackberries these are just on sale i usually don't have a bunch of berries like that and then this is asparagus and again i will have to wash that but it's all like kind of ready to go and then right here i have our carrots these are not washed or anything but i'm just going to wash them when i'm ready to juice them or rot wash them and cut them up for snacking in here i have some strawberries these are completely ready to go so these are washed and cut up and then i also have some little baby peppers in here and these are just going to be mostly for snacking but they are washed and ready to go as well but I think this is going to be amazing because this way I just have like immediate inventory of what we have and what we need from the grocery store and a lot of our stuff is also in our pantry like beans and rice and things like that as well but I really feel like this is going to help us and encourage us to eat more produce we've been doing pretty good with it lately and also just making juicing easier I feel like anytime I start juicing the reason that we stop is because it's like oh, I don't want to pull out all of the things for it but this way it's like you just pull out containers and then put the containers back and they are good to go you might have to wash something up but it's pretty much already like chopped up it's already like ready to go oh do you see Micah she's sitting in the window but now we're gonna go ahead and prep out some things and cook a few things and get some meal prep and food prep going I guess we already did a lot of the food prep but I'm gonna share a few recipes with you guys ginger and lemon so my mom has the exact same juicer as this she was the one who recommended that I get this one because when I was where I was looking for juicers I was like not sure what to get 
she spent probably seriously like a year searching like looking into different ones and this is the one that she found was like the best and like the best thing for your buck and she's had it probably close to a year maybe a little over a year and so I ended up getting this exact same one that she had so instead of me like going through the instructions and trying to figure out how to work it I just facetimed her for a minute and had her kind of explain like what everything was for and how to put it together and all that stuff and she quickly gave me a demonstration with her juicer so now i think i'm all set i know how to use it it's just a totally different juicer from the one that i had before i'm gonna first make celery juice and put some into the jars and then once i'm done with that i'll see how many jars i have left and then i might make another juice i'll share all the recipes for today over on my website and i'll leave that link in the description box below but let's get juicing First celery juice in the new juicer. So I try to include our kids cooking with me in the kitchen because it teaches them so much. It also creates a lot of fun memories and also I found that it makes them more excited to try new things when they are included in the process of making it. of these like apple carrot ginger lemon juices and then I also have two of the celery juice for tomorrow morning so that will be perfect I know I just barely used this but it already was awesome just to like pull it out put it back in good to go I'm trying to come down and get you real up so next I am going to meal prep some chicken that we can have throughout the week. Half of it I'm going to make salsa chicken in my instant pot, but you can also make it in your slow cooker. And then the other half I am going to make Jamaican jerk chicken and show you like kind of a meal for that. Okay, here's your superhero juice. Mom, it's not. It is superhero juice. Mom. Okay, it's not superhero juice. It's Noah juice. It's no, it's Noah juice. Uh -huh. Hold it with two hands please, you're about to spill it. Mmm, does that look taste like Grandma Linda's juice? No. No? It's just Noah juice? No. Okay. So it tastes Noah's. Tastes like Noah's? Okay. Mm. All right, don't spill it, okay? Okay. Okay. So to make salsa chicken, it can be customized to you and could not be easier. All you're going to do is add your chicken breast to a slow cooker or an instant pot, followed by your favorite salsa. I just use about half a cup per chicken breast if they are good sized pieces of chicken. And then add in one tablespoon of taco seasoning and one tablespoon of fajita seasoning. But again, you can customize your seasonings to your liking. And then you will just cook it in an instant pot for 15 minutes or three hours on high in a slow cooker. And then once it's cooked, you just shred it and then you can have it with tacos, with salad, burrito bowls. There are so many options for this and it is so delicious. I would just recommend with this that you use a nice quality salsa because that really is how you're going to get most of the flavor in your chicken. So always use a salsa that you love.
The superhero juice is putting good guys in your body? No, it's not superhero oh, juice. Oh, the Noah juice. No. What's it called now? Mustang juice? Yeah. Oh. So you're drinking Mustang juice? Yeah. Nice. I love it. That's good. I'm glad you like it. Remember, you made that one all by yourself. Yep. It did so good. Now to cook the jerk chicken, you will cut your chicken into bite-sized pieces and add them into a hot pan with a small bit of oil. And while cooking, you will add about one tablespoon of Jamaican jerk seasoning. You can add more or less of this, but keep in mind that it is a little bit spicy if you're making this for kids or you don't like a lot of spice. And then while your chicken cooks, that's when you're going to make your yellow rice. I am just using a packet and following the instructions on there and cooking it in my rice cooker. And then once I have that going, I will start making the pineapple salsa. And I am not a fan of fruit salsas at all but this one is so amazing so I really urge that you try this one especially just the mix of the jerk chicken and the yellow rice and the salsa it is so good but to make the salsa you're just going to cut up your red onion your pineapple and cilantro and then mix it all in the bowl and again I will have the measurements and recipes for all the things that I'm sharing today over on my website which I will have linked down below <laughs> I like your hair, dude. Thanks. You like the juice? Super good, huh? Yeah. Now once all of that is done, your salsa chicken should be all finished as well and you'll just want to shred it up and store it in a container and this heats up really, really well throughout the week. You can eat it so many ways and so this is something that's great for meal prep because you just have kind of one item that you can eat so many ways so that you're not getting tired of it throughout the week. Okay, so this is the jerk chicken with the yellow rice and this pineapple salsa, it is so good. Honestly, each thing is good by itself, but when you put them together, they are so, so delicious. I do have to give you guys a quick little warning though. The jerk chicken is slightly spicy, so if you have kids or if your kids don't like spice, like hot things, I would either lay off the spice a little bit or maybe just make this one for you and your partner or yourself during the week because it is a touch spicy. Like I know my kids are probably not going to eat it, but it is so good and like all of it together, my mouth is watering. The 
The last recipe that I'm sharing today is my black bean and corn salsa. I don't know if it's technically a salsa or a dip or just a side dish. We kind of eat it all different ways, but this can really be eaten so many ways. You can eat it just by itself. You can use it as a salsa, anything. It is so good and easy to make. So all you're going to do is add your diced red onion, your drained and rinsed black beans, your diced tomatoes, and corn into a bowl. Now I use frozen corn, but you can use whatever you have. And if you do use frozen corn, you don't have to defrost it. It will thaw out really quickly. And I feel like it's actually perfect because it kind of chills the dish that way. Then you'll just mix those ingredients together and set that aside. And then in a separate bowl, you're going to mix together dried parsley, minced garlic, sugar, chili powder, cumin, white vinegar, and oil. And I'm using avocado oil, but you can use whatever you have on hand. And then once you mix that together, you will combine it with the rest of your ingredients and you are completely done. And you can eat this right away, but it honestly tastes better the next few days when the flavors kind of come together a bit more. Finally, it was time to tidy up and get everything all put away. Now keep in mind, I do have three young boys that I needed to take breaks with and help them with things throughout the day. So if you're feeling overwhelmed with having to juggle it all, just know that you are not alone. Even if you don't always see the behind the scenes to these videos, I am definitely sharing in that struggle with you guys, but I just figured this video was long enough without including the 536 interruptions from my kids. So just keep with it and remember it will be worth it and you have got this.
So I hope that you enjoyed this video and all the cleaning and homemaking motivation that I packed into it for you guys. Let me know if you try any of my recipes I shared today and tag me over on Instagram or Facebook if you do as well. I hope you guys have the best day. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.